a photographer based in New York and am also the founding editor-in-chief of Pulse Spikes, an online and quarterly print magazine. In this day and age, social media has become dominant over in-person communication. Because of this, many people perceive social media as something negative or unhealthy. But social media was how I got my start. I began taking pictures of my everyday life with a simple iPhone and started uploading the pictures onto Instagram two years ago. The response I received amazed me. With the feedback I was given, I was able to further develop my work and build a strong portfolio. Within a year of continuously posting, I started receiving emails from small companies and brands asking me if I would help them create engaging posts of their products for them to use as social media content. Recently, I found myself working with internationally renowned brands such as Uniqlo, Walgreens, and Dunkin' Donuts. And I'm only 14 years old. <laughs> this was my first time photographing and attending a concert. My passion for music led me to be interested in live music photography. Prior to the event, I was both scared and excited. Terrified because I had never done anything like this before and I didn't know what to expect, but also excited because I loved the band. And I realized that this was the exact combination on how I should feel. A bit of terror and a lot of excitement. The fact that I was scared showed that what I was about to do would be worth accomplishing and the excitement kept me from giving up. The energy of the crowd packed into the intimate venue hooked me. A year later, I photographed 10 shows, two festivals, and over 300 artists. I found myself shooting venues of 3,000 to 6,000 alongside industry professionals. This was photographed last summer in Inner Mongolia. These structures are called yurts, which are much like circular tents. My father and I tried the authentic living accommodations for the night. Rather than sleeping in a warm, comfortable hotel room, I found myself sleeping in a freezing hut with a damp sheet wrapped around me. Silence was evident. There wasn't the usual buzz of car horns or sirens, just crickets filling the night. There was no internet or Wi-Fi. The toilet leaked, so the bathroom wasn't someplace you wanted to enter. That night, I laid on the hardwood beds, questioning my life. <laughs> Spending the night in a yurt? Truly a first, and most definitely a last. So how does a current 14-year-old high school freshman manage to experience the amazing things life has to offer? Well, schoolwork consumes most of my time, and other extracurricular activities such as sports, music lessons, and clubs also takes up a significant chunk of my free time. With a tight schedule, I found it difficult to find the time to step outside of my normal routine. In fact, I think most students rarely ever leave their everyday routines. Life passes by, but nothing exciting ever happens. To maintain a balance among schoolwork, feeding my creativity, and pursuing passions, I developed a manageable plan to try just one thing a month and to take tiny steps out of my comfort zone. There's a quote by author Neil Donald Walsh that says, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. So that's your comfort zone, that very small inner circle. And do you see that much larger circle around it? That's everything outside your comfort zone. The reason why most of us rarely ever leave that inner circle is simple, fear of the unknown. But there is so much value in stepping out of your everyday routine. I wanted to try so many new things, but there was always that concern of, what if I fail? What if I mess up? What if, what if, what if? But what if I had never stepped out of my everyday routine and tried something new? I would have missed all of these amazing life opportunities. Besides the previously mentioned experiences, I also photographed a fashion show, directed a marketing campaign, tried the many traditional foods of Thailand, and also fed bananas to an elephant. How cool is that? <laughs> From trying one new thing each month, my comfort zone has significantly expanded. By forcing yourself to try a new thing, 
you're forcing yourself to grow and gain knowledge. By forcing yourself to try one new thing each month, you are setting a deadline to do it instead of always giving up. Someday becomes today. And lastly, you can inspire others to step out of their comfort zones and to try something new as well. That's what I hope to do today. When was the last time you tried something for the first time? Thank you.